Now the Alex Cherry Gold Cup will close week six and close the first part of the season with a two week break and the transfer window this is a two mile six furlong nought to 100 handicap top one Mataleb Strider Martelidum Tullamore Sloan Daniel French Thunderbirds are go Paul Rhodes Trojan Hysteria and whenever Dragoon for Alex Cherry trying to win his own gold cup Miss Wacky Asset for Ryan Costello Danzig Caramel Thomas Rogers and Harold Bold for Ryan Costello as well so eight of them called in and away then in this final race of the week and whenever Dragoon for the sponsor in the lead leads by about a neck to Mataleb Strider in second and then a gap to Miss Wacky Asset and a bit of a freeze up there that gets sorted out in the final sort of production run through that Gray does as they take the first of the 18 and we lost Tullamore Stone so I think it's Daniel French's I think and that one's gone so whenever Dragoon's in the lead and the just be warned the commentary may get slightly out of sync towards the end because I've just had a freeze up there in between the first fence and the start. I don't know whether that will be evident in the final cut, if you like, the production cut. Sometimes those little blips don't come through and then that ends, tends to um, put the commentary just a few seconds out of sync. So if it's out of sync, then that's why. And whenever Dragoon is the leader, it's not because I fell asleep halfway through the race. And Mataleb Strider is back in second, about four lengths of drift. Then comes Thunderbirds Argo and Trojan Hysteria is after that one. And then Danzig Caramel as they take number three. And they're all safely over that one. A bit of a mistake by Danzig Caramel, but nothing too serious. And the Ryan Costello pair are at the back. We've seen plenty of thr thrills and spills in these races today, including that two. A race where only two finished and they get over number four and oh, crikey the two Ryan Costello horses there Miss Wacky Asset and Harold Bold both did their best to fall it was almost like synchronized falling they both made exactly the same mistake and they're well strung out this lot already and Alex Cherry is two lengths clear in his own race with whenever Dragoon well, that one I'm not going to put the kibosh on it. It's had a tendency to make the odd mistake this season. Harold Bold is just basically ploughing through defences at the moment. I really can't see that one finishing the way it's going. As they come out of this next one, whenever Dragoon jumped that one slowly, the better jump was by Danzig Caramel. He's now gone up into a almost into a share of a second. But it's an Alex Cherry 1-2 in his own race. Whenever Dragoon in front, Trojan Hysteria second. Danzig Caramel on the outside of Mataleb Strider as they get to the eighth. And again, the leader jumped it slowly but he's still on his feet and he's still in the lead. Danzig Caramel's moved just up on the outside into second. Then Trojan Hysteria and Mataleb Strider the top weight. Bit of a gap then back to Thunderbirds are go as they come to the next one. And over that one they all go. They will drop that one okay with Miss Wacky Asset getting a little bit closer and Harold Bold now sorted his jumping out a little bit at the back. But whenever Dragoon has been in the lead all the way so far. Danzig Caramel is a clear second. Trojan Hysteria third and Mataleb Strider fourth. Then Thunderbirds are going. Miss Wacky Asset running together as they come down to this next one. And Harold Bold, the back marker. That'll be the last on the next circuit. Final race of the week. That will be the final fence of the week. They pass the winning post. And they're going to swing out left handed for one more circuit of the track. And whenever Dragoon is the leader from Danzig Caramel in second and Trojan Hysteria third. Mataleb Strider is fourth. And then Thunderbirds are go and Miss Wacky Asset and finally Harold Wold the back marker as they take the next one good jump there by Danzig Carroll has seen that go right up sides of the leader whenever Dragoon for some reason the camera wants to film this race from inside the trees which is David Bellamy or somebody but it's whenever Dragoon in front Danzig Carroll is second then Trojan Hysteria and Mataleb Strider as they come to the 12th and a good jump there by the purple jacketed top weight Mataleb Strider has seen that one now come through to challenge but Danzig Caramel's a leader as we get a good close up shot now with six furlongs to go over that one they go whenever Dragoon on the inside Mataleb Strider on the outside then Danzig Caramel Thunderbirds are go Miss Wacky Asset trying to get into it Trojan Hysteria's hit a flat spot Harold Bolts trying to run on they've still got quite a few fences to get over and there it was Danzig Caramel who jumped back into the lead again 
Then Matalib Strider on its outside. Whenever Dragoon on its inside. Then Thunderbird Zargo and Miss Wacky Asset over the 15th they go. They've only got three more to take and it's Whenever Dragoon back in the lead for Alex Cherry. Right, it's Whenever Dragoon by a length to Dancing Caramel. Trojan Hysteria, the big weight beginning to tell on Matalib Strider. Thunderbird Zargo is still there in fourth and Miss Wacky Asset around the outside. Over the third last they go then. And now it's the second of the Alex Cherry horses. Trojan Hysteria that comes through to take it off. It's a 1-2 for Alex Cherry in his own race with two to take. It's Whit Trojan Hysteria from Whenever Dragoon. Then Danzig Caramel is back in third. They race it down towards the final two fences. Over the final distance and he's gone. Whenever Dragoon's gone. And Trojan Hysteria has been left in the lead. Trojan Hysteria is still in front by two. Danzig Caramel though is throwing down a big challenge. Miss Wacky Asset is trying to run on as well. One more to take. Trojan Hysteria can Alex Cherry win his own race. He comes down towards the final fence. He gets it. He jumps in really well. Gets away from it well. Then Danzig Caramel and Miss Wacky Asset are trying to close. Trojan Hysteria needs the line and Trojan Hysteria gets the line and Alex Cherry can keep his gold cup and put it back in his display count it because he's taking it back home with him and winning your own race has got to be one of the best feelings you can get in SO7 and Trojan Hysteria takes it the Alex Cherry Gold Cup goes to Alex Cherry Danzig Caramel did its best to Stealing away from him, but Trojan Hysteria the winner for Alex Cherry. Danzig Caramel for Thomas Rogers second. Miss Wacky Asset Ryan Costello third. Thunderbirds are go for Paul Rhodes was fourth. And the top weight Matt Strider hung on to be fifth.